So we are back with another video. Um, I wanted to show you guys some stuff that I got because you guys know I love unboxing stuff for you guys. I feel like you guys like it too. So now this right here, this is actually our sponsor for today. So I'm just now gonna be opening the package. So um, I have literally been getting a lot of views when it comes to, come on bro, I'm not taking the hat off. Like, I'm not taking the hat off, okay? I'm not. You can't do it! I can't. So I've been getting a lot of views when it comes to my shoe unboxings. Um, I feel like you guys really like them. I like doing them for you too. But um, there's also people in the comments who complain about the shoes I'm getting being too expensive and you know a lot of people can't pay $400, $500 for a pair of shoes or a pair of Yeezys. I am so sick of my camera. Okay guys, I just hope this camera stops playing with me because this is just really interrupting. So anyways, um, a lot of people do say that um, I spend an outrageous amount of money on my shoes and the stuff that I get sometimes. So this company actually reached out to me after they had seen my last video. I'll put it somewhere on the screen um, with my Yeezys. So they reached out to me. They're actually a dupe company, like a replica pretty much. They offered to send me a pair of shoes to show you guys. So I'm going to show you guys. Well, we're both going to see pretty much because I've never ordered from them. This is a sponsorship, so I'm honestly seeing the product new just like you guys are. So they offered to send me a pair of shoes and show you guys how they look and the quality of them pretty much. So I'm going to show you guys these. These, like I said, are replicas. They are not real, but the lady who emailed me informed me that the quality is pretty much top tier. Um, it's pretty much identical to the original. So I did want to get these shoes. I actually was going to get them from GOAT a couple, a month ago actually, which is crazy. I was going to get these exact shoes from GOAT, but GOAT ended up returning me, well, returning my money back and then giving me a credit because um, they did not have the shoes. They didn't get to the warehouse or something about them losing the shoes. So I still have that credit from GOAT, but I didn't end up ordering them again because I just didn't really care. But um, I'm gonna see how these look. And baby, if they look better, if they look exactly like the ones that I was gonna order for almost like $500, because I was gonna order them from GOAT for about $450. If these look just as good, Go can kiss my ass goodbye, and I really wanted these shoes, so this is pretty much how it comes. Okay, I'm really interested to see what they look like. I've never like bought a replica before, and being that somebody wanted to send me one, that's pretty dope. Did they leave their business card or anything? No, they didn't leave their business card. And these did come super quick, <clears throat> so this is how they look. This is the box that they came in. Okay, Nike box. Mm hmm. Now, let's take a look, okay? Ooh. Wow. And I asked them for 7Y, so I hope this is my size. Okay, so this is how the shoe looks, okay, um, honestly I haven't owned a pair of ones in a while so I'm gonna have to look them up and see as far as the quality, how they look, but there isn't much defect from what I can see. I know a lot of times replica stuff usually has like defects, the only thing that I do notice on the inside I don't know if this is like supposed to be like this. I don't think it's supposed to be like this, but the like sole of the shoe is kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of lifting right there. Let's see if the other one is like that too. I wish they would have tied these up for me because I hate doing shoelaces. My ex used to do all my shoelaces and um, I just never really knew how to tie sneakers up like that. But this is how they look. 
if you're a sneakerhead, you'll probably be able to tell as far as like, because I'm not an expert with sneakers, so I don't know how you could tell if something's real or not. Um, obviously the sole like this being like how I just showed you guys, how the sole is kind of like coming out, that's definitely um, something that shows to me that they are replica, but obviously nobody's going to see inside of your shoe. So yeah, these are the shoes. These are supposed to be the Mocha ones, um, Air Force ones, right? Yeah, they're supposed to be the multiple ones. <laughs> so this is how they look. And I really want to tie these up to see how they're going to look on my feet. So maybe I should try these on. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I am going to try these on and show you guys how they look on my feet once I figure out how to um, tie these up. But this is the brand, guys. It's Ar Artemis. Artemis. I don't know if it's Artemis footwear, if it's just Artemis, I don't know. But yeah, this is how they look. I mean, the quality looks pretty good so far to me. Um, I'll have to pull up like a picture of the shoe and really like compare the two. I don't know if the white to me looks like a little offish white. I don't know if it's like supposed to be like that, but the white does look like a little like off white to me. I can't really tell because my eyes are like super deceiving, but yeah these are the shoes so i'm gonna come back and show you them on my feet okay guys so i managed to get so i pulled up a picture of the shoes <clears throat> so this is what they look like all right so i'm gonna show you guys what they look like on my feet <clears throat> Um, I feel like I didn't do a good job explaining um, as far as the shoes, but I'm not a sneakerhead, guys. I just like sneakers that look cute on my feet. Um, I'm sorry. So you're going to have to maybe comment um, if you are a sneakerhead and tell me as far as the difference that you can tell between them because I feel like I did not do a good job at explaining, but I wanted to show you guys these because these were sent to me um, and I do want to be able to give this company the right type of promotion. But um, like I said, they I want to show you guys how they look on my feet. I actually kind of like them. Um, the only thing that I can really tell the difference between them and like a regular pair of sneakers that I would have bought from like Foot Locker or Flight Club is they do have like more creases than like uh, rails like the real shoes do um usually when you do buy a pair of air forces or any type of just jordan um especially the ones they come you know fresh and clean like there's no creases in them these did have a lot of creases in them but like i said i'm gonna show you guys how they look on my feet um i did do two different um shoelaces because they came with the white and the black one so i'm gonna show you guys as far as what they look like um with the black shoelaces and then the white shoelaces um overall they feel good um the only thing i really feel like there might be a differences is the white is like kind of like a off-white to me like a beige white that's really like something i don't think the originals have but then again i don't have the originals i did try them on in stadium goods um but yeah i don't not i don't think I don't think they were an off way. I don't think so, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how they look and then I'm gonna come back. Okay guys, excuse my hairy legs. Okay, so I'm trying to crop them up as much as I can. So these are the shoes, guys. I do have a little room in the front. Um, let me see if I can show you better now. Okay, so this is how they look. Um, Um, like I said, there's like creases, like right here, obviously there's a crease and, um, yeah, but I really can't like tell any significant difference between these and then a real pair. I did wear, um, I did wear like high top ankle, not high top, but like, you know, ankle socks because like I said, they're a little big on me, um, but I do have room. But yeah, these are how they look, guys. And these are the Mocha Air Jordan ones. And they came with two shoelaces, so I'm trying to figure out if I like the black ones or the white ones better. Comment below which ones you think look better. And do you guys think they look big on my feet? Like. I feel like they look overly big, like, and I'm short, so, like, I'm trying to figure out if, like, I look like I have duck feet right now or if they look okay. I don't know. 
they're cute okay so those were the shoes guys um thank you artemis for sending me these shoes i'm super super grateful because every time i've been trying to order them i've just been getting bad luck either they don't have the shoe in stock either they somebody else buys them out or something like i've just always been having trouble getting those shoes so i figured since they asked me what kind of shoe i want i was gonna either pick between that one or the ben and jerry ones but the ben and jerry ones i feel like those are like those are like a thousand dollar shoes like i know for a fact they ain't got nothing that's even close to what that looks like okay so um do not forget to make sure that you like comment and subscribe because there's a lot going on like i'm telling you guys in the last couple vlogs there's just a lot going on and if you want to be part of the crew if you want to be down you need to just hit that subscribe button and enjoy the ride so peace out